Welcome to globallytraining.com. Globallytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globallytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to UFT training videos. In this video, we will look at uh, you know normal challenges uh, that users or learners would have with uh, a sample uh, application, uh, specifically you know flight simulator, uh, the Windows-based sample application. That's what I'm talking about. So by default, after you install uh, UFT software. You know, when you when you start your flight reservation, it may start or it may not start. I, if it is not starting, you might have to right-click on it. Let's say you know, start all programs, HP, uh, UFT testing, sample applications, and flight GUI. You might want to click right-click on it and do uh, run as administrator. But once you have this prompt, uh, let's say the password is Mercury, or lowercase. Once you log in, you know you may get uh, get uh, into the application. Let me try to make a uh, reservation and see if we can successfully book a flight. I'm gonna pick a ticket there, and I'm gonna put QA. And insert and you know you, you may run into this issue where you would see invalid attribute slash option identifier when this happens you know it, it does not insert any record into the database and by that what I mean is you know here I'm trying to book a flight and if I do you know open orders because I just you know if, if we if we think that you know it went through fine then we should be able to search based on the customer name and this is actually from the past not the one right now let me uh, let me do this let me yeah I have it open uh, let me delete that I'm not able to delete it so let me do this customer a so we, there's one ticket there. Let me try to book another flight. This time I'll say global e training. And let me copy that and update the record. I'm not able to update and let me do a, a new one. And this time I'll do testing. Insert record and got the error. And let me search for the customer testing. That's what I use here. I can't find any record. So pretty much, you know, it doesn't matter how you do. You're not able to update an existing record if we have one in there, and we are not able to insert. We are not able to update. Now do nothing. So this is the issue you will most likely run into. In order to fix this issue, there are a couple of things that you will have to, you know, do. Uh, first is um, right-click. Uh, you know, let me do it here. Start programs. Uh, HPFT sample applications. Right-click on flight GUI. Then go to properties, and then go to compatibility, and then select 
run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP. Select that, apply, and do OK. And let's see uh, what kind of impact that has on the uh, application or the uh, sample application. I have a shortcut here. I'm going to double click that. So I'm getting this prompt uh, for uh, user ac account control. I'm clicking yes for that. And I have the login prompt. Testing Mercury. Okay. So I have the flight reservation application 01 14. So I'm going to yeah, say user 1 insert. No error. Let me see if we can search for this. User. So we have the ticket there. Let me try to. Okay, the ticket is still open. Let me change this user to say uh, global update order. Okay, looks like uh, I was able to update. And uh, let me search for that ticket. Okay, I have there. So I'm able to create an order and update it as well. So let me go ahead and close the application. Let me try to start the application again. So every time I start, I get this prompt uh, from you know user uh, account control. And then I get the prompt. So I keep getting that prompt. So in order to kind of suppress that, you can go to start run and enter UAC. And under user account control settings, if you set this to never notify, apply, then you know what this does is it kind of completely suppresses that particular uh, user account control messages. So now if I start the application, now I directly get the, get to the application without the prompt. And if I log in, let's see if I, if things work normal okay I here you go I have it open I'll do 05 14 say John three tickets insert okay this time um, let me go ahead and search it but I'm going to search it based on the date See, I have it here. If I were to search it based on the order number, I know it's 19. It pulled it up. So now I'm I'm able to you know create an update as well. I mean I we just uh, created one, uh, and let me see. We can delete a record as well. Let me close the application. Start it one more time. I have no prompt. But uh, you might want to be a little cautious about making changes to your um, uh, user account uh, control settings because when you do this, any application that tries to uh, run on the system and try to run in with uh, highest uh, high privilege or you know an elevated privilege with you know kind of similar to admin rights the system would just go ahead and you know, the program would directly have access to that when you set it to and uh, never notify but if you you know switch it back and this is a normal behavior being at this level and uh, that, that would be the default setting um, again you know when you're uh, learning with uh, you know with this flight simulator I'm going to say you know the sample application you might want to set it to never notify and then when you're done with it 
I would highly recommend you to you know switch it back to the default setting because you know if there is uh, you know for whatever reason if some virus gets downloaded onto the system and it's trying to um, you know run something with admin privileges and this would actually stop that and prompt you right on the screen saying that hey now do you want to proceed so that's in a little bit of security so when you turn it down then you're kind of you know suppressing that security option so be careful with it but you know I just wanted to make sure that you all know that you do have an option so make sure that you know may, um, first thing is make sure that you know you set the compatibility to run the program in compatibility mode for Windows XP that's the first thing and uh, <clears throat> if you want to uh, change the uh, user account control settings to you know, all the way down so you don't see any kind of prompt you can do it but you know make sure that you set it back to this normal default level after you're done with your uh, you know UFT um, testing well uh, that's it about uh, you know uh, a little tricks around the flight uh, reservation sample application okay uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.